Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest Tepa Storm Wild Meta Snapshot Breakdown. As the next expansion, Saviors of Uldum, approaches, we are reaching the late stages of the Rise of Shadows meta. Even with the new expansion on the horizon, the Wild meta has shifted continuously over the course of the past few weeks. For now, the meta has stabilized around Quest Mage and Odd Rogue as the cornerstones of this format, forcing other top-tier mainstays, such as Big Priest and Murloc Shaman, into Tier 2. Before we break down these recent developments, don't forget to subscribe to the Tepa Storm Hearthstone YouTube channel to stay up to date with our Hearthstone content. Now, let's get started. Our Tier 1 deck choices are the most dominant decks in the format, and are so strong that they arguably shape the rest of the format around them. In this breakdown, Quest Mage and Odd Rogue have established themselves as the decks to beat, while Odd Paladin has fallen out of favor due to the abundance of poor matchups. Quest Mage is now universally accepted as public enemy number one in Wild. With the strength of its core combo of Sorcerer's Apprentice, Flame Waker, Mana Cyclone, and Elemental Evocation, the deck leverages its draw power and random card generation to produce massive board swings and damage pushes in a single turn. The strength and ease of its combos has forced aggressive trends, such as the return of Odd Rogue and even Shaman, and the common inclusion of hate cards like Lotheb and Skulking Geist in a wide variety of decks. Even with the rest of the format gunning for it, Quest Mage is very popular on the ladder and always has the potential to win games out of nowhere. The other deck falling into Tier 1 is Odd Rogue. This archetype has established itself as the premier aggro deck of the format, on the back of its excellent matchups against the field. Thanks to its dominant early game and Baku-enhanced hero power to carefully manage the board, it does well against other aggressive decks like Murloc Shaman and Odd Paladin, while its capacity for fast damage and access to Lotheb gives it an edge against Quest Mage and Big Priest. Shadowcaster is becoming a common inclusion in the deck, allowing you to rebuy cornerstone cards such as Lotheb and Dark Iron Skulker, allowing you to lock out Odd Paladins and Big Priests alike. With so many good matchups, Odd Rogue joins Quest Mage at the top of the tier list. Now let's move on to Tier 2. The Tier 2 decks are powerful, but tend to have a weaker matchup spread than Tier 1. Tier 2 features 9 decks, but in this report, we'll focus on the rising star of Even Shaman, and review the decks that have shifted in and out of Tier 1 over the course of the Rise of Shadows meta. So, Even Shaman is back. This classic mid-range aggro deck is returning to prominence on the back of its excellent matchups against other popular decks. Against Quest Mage, the Shaman's above curve threats and burn puts the Mage on a fast clock and forces the Mage to play defensive cards early instead of saving them for critical mass turns. Against Murloc Shaman and Odd Paladin, even Shaman's early game removal make it difficult for the opponent to ever establish a foothold on the board. Even Shaman is only held back by its poor performance against dedicated anti-aggro strategies, such as Renolock or Odd Warrior, as well as an underwhelming Big Priest matchup. If even Shaman's stock is rising, then Odd Paladin's stock in the meta is falling. Odd Paladin finds itself in an awkward spot due to the increased popularity of Odd Rogue and even Shaman, since those decks' board management tools are well suited to counter the Paladin's swarming strategy. Even with the shift, don't count the Paladin out, as the tried and true combination of cheap Silver Hand recruits and AoE buffs is still very powerful against undertuned decks. Never Surrender and Lotheb are still strong tech choices against Quest Mage, and Odd Paladin still does well against Murloc Shaman, and other fast aggro decks due to its emphasis on board development. Big Priest is another powerful deck that's falling from grace after the recent shifts in the Rise of Shadows wild meta. The popularity of Quest Mage and Odd Rogue alongside the popularity of Lotheb as a tech choice is all bad news for Anduin. Even with these developments, Big Priest is still able to do some very powerful things, with Barnes and Shadow Essence into the Resurrect engine, allowing the Priest to repeatedly play massive threats, naturally dominating any deck that can't rush it down or go over the top. Big Priest is strong against even Shaman, and anti-aggro control decks like Odd Warrior and Jade Druid. So if those decks become more popular in response to an aggressive meta, Big Priest will still be there to take advantage of those shifts. Our final Tier 2 deck in this breakdown is Murloc Shaman. One of the biggest stories of the Rise of Shadows meta has been the rise and fall of Murlocs. With its blistering curve, AoE buffs, and underbelly angler to refuel, Murloc Shaman remains one of the fastest decks you can play, and has one of the best matchups possible against Quest Mage and Big Priest. However, with poor matchups against even Shaman and Odd Rogue, and the shrinking popularity of Big Priest, 
Murloc Shaman is, ironically, in a poor position, thanks to his quest mage-oriented meta. Even with these developments, Murloc Shaman is still a solid choice to make a quick climb to legend in the last month of the expansion. As for our meta breaker, the Rise of Shadows meta has been continuously dynamic, and with so many powerful decks you can choose to play in a shifting meta, we've emphasized flexibility as one of the most important traits of a potential meta breaker. Our featured deck for this report is perhaps one of the most flexible archetypes you can play in Wild, and the one that's been making silent waves over the course of the expansion, Spell Hunter. This is a hunter archetype that plays very few minions to take advantage of the classic combo of Barnes into Yishiraj, Rage Unbound. An early Barnes into Yishiraj is one of the most devastating early plays in Wild, and Spell Hunter plays Master's Call to maximize the chances of this happening by turn 4. Our featured rank 8 legend list from Fardhast also includes Sylvanas Windrunner with 9 lives, which can be a knockout blow against big minion decks such as Big Priest and also includes Deathstalker Rexar as the ultimate custom value engine, and Zul'jin as a top-end finisher. Since this package of threats doesn't require very many cards, you have room to tailor the deck with tech options to suit your local meta. If you're facing heavy aggro, a secret lineup of Wandering Monster and Explosive Trap can keep the opponent at bay. Against Mage, Rat Trap, and Cat Trick take advantage of their reliance on cheap spells. And Snipe keeps minions like Sorcerer's Apprentice and Flame Waker off the board. With a wide variety of spells in Hunter's Arsenal, the deck can be fine-tuned to do well against a variety of opponents, and is definitely an archetype worth exploring. In conclusion, the Rise of Shadows meta has been one of the most eventful expansion cycles in Wild's history. With so many balance changes and card additions over the course of the expansion, the Wild meta is only now showing signs of stabilizing with Quest Mage and Odd Rogue taking the top spots. Wild still has a variety of powerful decks and room for the meta to develop, even as the expansion cycle draws to a close. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to keep an eye on these wild developments, and let us know in the comments where you think the wild meta will end up next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.